Well, thank you, Georges, for that introduction. Thank you, uh, Coventry University, for this opportunity. Um, so um, today we're going to be talking a little bit about a, a farmer-led initiative that's helping to rebuild food sovereignty in both Haiti, Haiti and Uganda. Um, the name of the project is Kombit uh, Vayan Kapap, Project, excuse me, Kombit Vayan Kapap, Agroecology, Farmer to Farmer, Agroecology for Food Sovereignty. Sorry, a lot of words there. Um, uh, Want to uh, share a little bit about the uh, the title um, that really, that came from a phone conversation that I had with Saint Jess back in late 2021, early 2022. It was a time of uh, a really growing uh, food insecurity. Um, in 2021, the president uh, Moise was assassinated. Uh, there was an earthquake. Uh, the country had experienced uh, severe drought, and gangs were in control of the majority of Port-au-Prince. Uh, partners in Progress received some funding uh, to provide food relief uh, to its partners, and um, so I began calling and uh, assessing the need with with various partners. And I called St. Jess and I said, uh, you know, I explained that we have this food relief money available. Um, uh, you know, what, what are some of the needs in your community? Uh, how much money do you need? And he very simply said, the farmers are taking care of this. So our objectives this morning are to uh, share a little information about FAFSI, Farmer to Farmer Agroecology for Food Sovereignty Initiative. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about the origins, the, some of the core activities, and how it's helping to uh, rebuild food sovereignty uh, in, in the communities where we're working. And then also to provide a little bit of insight into some of the participatory learning activities and how that's uh, helping to uh, uh, build farmer confidence, but also uh, increase uh, uh, innovation, farmer-led innovation. So a little bit about the origins of, of FAFC. Uh, the, FAPSI grew out of uh, a larger project called Combit Vayan Kapab Poiget Agroecology. And Combit Vayan Kapab in Creole means strong combits, uh, strong combits can. Uh, a combit uh, is a cooperative, uh, traditional cooperative uh, working group in, in Haiti. Um, so in 2011, uh, farmers and elders, uh, there, there have been uh, two seasons of droughts, two growing seasons of droughts, and farmers and elders came together uh, with the goal of trying to revitalize uh, uh, traditions of caring for the land and and uh, working together to rebuild uh, food sovereignty. And so we work with this, this group of elders and farmers, uh, Partners in Progress, EGD, and um, uh, came up with a, a cooperative uh, uh, innovation farm trial uh, that involved four, uh, uh, about 60 to 70 farmers working in three combits on three uh, separate uh, cooperative innovation farms. So the the uh, soil was very responsive to the agroecology techniques being used on these uh, three innovation farms, um, and farmers were able to grow the, the all the combits after two years. Each each of these cooperative farms was growing more food. Uh, the farmers who were working in these cooperative farms were uh, testing agroecology techniques in their on their own farms, and and so neighbors who saw this uh, wanted to know. OK, how can we have uh, these kinds of opportunities to learn more about agroecology and have the opportunity to test these on our own farms? And so that's when PIP, Partners in Progress, EGD, came together with elders and the farmers who were working on these farm cooperative innovation farms and came up with the Farmer to Farmer Agroecology Initiative. Uh, the right currently, uh, the project is working FAFSA season about four, 14 communities across three departments in Haiti uh, and in Uganda in nine Allure indigenous communities across three districts. So with that, I'd like to turn it over to St. Jess to kind of talk a little bit about some of the key 
uh, core components of the uh, FAFSA project. Oh, sorry, forgot to mention uh, before we talk more about some of those activities. Uh, so that the FAFSA is a two year project, two year commitment on the part of farmers and the, uh, the, the organizations involved. And what we do is provide opportunities, materials and resources for farmers to test agroecology on their own farms uh, for a minimum of two years. In Haiti, we have uh, extended that to three and four years in some cases because of the situation there. Uh, so farmers not only receive materials and resources, but they also have get uh, uh, assistance from other farmers who've been trained as agroecology educators, uh, an agronomist and also a community organizer, uh, which provide they all provide technical assistance uh, throughout the growing season during those two years. So St. Jess, would you like to talk a little bit about some of the core components of FAFSI? Agroecologie, c'est un grand concept de la dans agriculture qui fait obligation à la formation continue pour planter yo pour capable gagner une meilleure application et pour obtenir un plus bon résultat. Uh, agroecology is a concept and, and ag agroecology is kind of a really good thing, um, especially lead to work for better results. Dans quatre formations, ça nous fait avoir des niveaux, un bon niveau théorique et puis un niveau pratique. And this type of training, so we make it um, with two levels. There's a practical one and the theoretical one. Et à travers la formation, ça nous pas seulement apprendre planter au technique agroécologie, mais nous apprendre à planifier saison travail. So in this kind of training, we do not uh, teach the farmers only to work in the agroecology, but we help them and teach them to learn about um, how to plan their work year. Et c'est dans la phase ça, Madame ça l'a expliqué et 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 l'a expliqué partie de préparation jardinier pour le montrer qui comment il va le faire résultat à partir des planifications de pour aller. So is it's sort of reason why you can see the the lady standing with the paper just to teach them about the plain and then old issue will work to have a, a good garden. Yeah, so just to add to that, the so the agroecology workshop is kind of the uh, first step in the uh, FAFSI project. So new farmers come in. There's a five day workshop. OK, Mike, you will hear me. Yes, I hear you. Yep, yep, I can hear you. I'm just uh, adding a little bit Hello, to your Mike. comments and just uh, so the uh, farmers get an opportunity to uh, kind of uh, uh, assess the the beauty and the 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 uh, uh, some of the struggles in their communities, and uh, also identify some of the root causes and challenges uh, as well. Uh, during this workshop, they also um, uh, uh, get some hands-on experience out on the farm and also uh, learning some different uh, agroecology techniques, and then also. Uh, the last day, last day and a half, uh, they have an opportunity to design their their own farm and create a budget for that. Sanjess? Uh, so this is a, uh, a slide of uh, of some activities, some other activities in the agroecology workshop. Uh, on the left hand side here is a sold food web game, and this really is, is meant to sort of help uh, participants have a better understanding of how they are connected uh, to all the life that's in the soil. On the right hand side, uh, a woman is uh, testing a uh, 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 using uh, an A frame, getting some experience. The A frames used to find contour for ramp vivons. Ramp vivons are kind of uh, contour uh, hedgerow type uh, uh, agroecology system. Yes,
Beatrice? Community tree. Yes. Community tree nurseries. Each community, each Papsi communities that we are working with, they design and receive support for their tree nursery. The farmers also involved in various activities from their various tree nursery, such as seedbed preparation, sowing seeds, potting, out. This tree nursery is in Zombo, Uganda, and it is being managed by a group of 11 single moms, agroecology trials and knowledge sharing. So I think we might have lost, uh, there might be a little bit of a delay in the connection. So these are just a couple of photos again, at the agriculture participants uh, having an opportunity to test trials on their own farm. Uh, to the left, that photo on the left is a photo of uh, one of the farmers uh, in uh, Irusi and on the right in Aiti. Farmers also will come together at the end of each growing season and kind of assess what worked, what didn't work, and, and also, uh, uh, you know, any any innovation I, that that's coming out of the farm, any new techniques that farmers are trying or advancements on agroecology techniques. John and Beatrice, are y'all seeing this okay? Okay, I think we might be having some trouble having some trouble with the connection. Um, so in the second year FAFC, uh, uh, farmers are uh, have the opportunity to integrate a farm animal. The project provides pig, chickens, or, or goat uh, for farmers, um, and we've had some really good success with uh, different ways of integrating these animals into the system. Uh, for, for example, uh, using uh, having the animals graze on cover crops. Um, uh, but uh, also just want to mention that to sustain the project, so farmers are required to uh, give back the first offspring uh, of, of, the, of their animals. So give that back to, to the project as a way to kind of help sustain the program. Access to markets, so agriculture educators and staff work with farmers to identify ways to get them uh, increase their access to markets to be able to sell uh, the traditional healthy foods that they're growing. Uh, this is a farmer, a new market in Urusi that uh, uh, was built really a, a, a total uh, uh, community effort. Uh, somebody donated the land. Uh, the government was involved uh, with with helping, providing some funding, um, uh, and builders and the engineer also provided uh, some of their time and kind as well. So John, are you all there? Trying to get John and, and Beatrice back into the conversation. Yeah. Okay. Agroecology. Agroecology Educator Training. We, in the second year of the project, uh, some farmers are selected from uh, the first year and are trained as agroecology educators. Agroecology educators help in the first facilitating agroecology. Also help the new farmers Okay, I think I think we lost lost John. So uh, this is again we second year FAFC farmers had the opportunity to 
become agroecology educators. Uh, the agroecology educators uh, help co-facilitate the workshop, uh, many of the activities in the workshop, and they're also involved during the growing season going out and providing technical assistance for, for farmers. Sanchez? Then Sanchez, are you there? Augmentation production et revenu. Eh bien, nous la constaté que ça a commenté ce que ça a réalisé à succès et qui ça a eu comme revenu à travers le travail fait dans le cadre agro dans le cadre dans le cadre agro technique agro écologie. So with the agroecology techniques, um, those farmers just comment about the whole, whole good the techniques are and then uh, what is the impact and the good result that they'll find about their income and then uh, their production too. Yeah. Donc c'est ensemble de techniques yo apprendre yo et qui mène yo dans na na résultat ça. Là on a parlé de écosystème et régénération. Eh bien, visiblement, nous avons besoin d'une meilleure transformation qui est faite là. C'est grâce à l'application des de techniques agroécologie et qui a des possibilités avec les animaux pour manger. Donc, so, uh, le um, système et nous l'utilisons, et toutes les techniques, cette fois, on donne un really good good impact as you can see is uh, really green and then uh, we find enough food to eat and uh, animals have uh, be better food to eat too li gen li possibilité tout avec oiseaux qui était abandonné région et kounya qui vini et vini à diversité so the ecosystem is we, we generate and then this one is really good good and then uh, in the past we used to have a lot of birds who left the area Due to the agroecology system, the, the area is greener and richer, so all the birds and more diversity coming back. Et l'écosystème uh, lui offre une autre possibilité tout uh, au sol qui permet aux micro-organiques eh, qui vivent dans la terre pour plus bien respirer et bien aller. So in a way to work, work in the ecosystem to help and contribute, so this one help the microorganism um, that we call the soil people to live better and then well organized. C'est tout ensemble de succès à eux que nous récolter à travers technique agroécologie. This is all kind of success that we harvest and the agroecology techniques and the system. Là nous capable de continuer par le climate resilience et eh bien là on va planter ça, il vient la expliquer comment que les gagner il vient une capacité pour les fait moins ce risque avec l'eau qui est capable de passer sous terre parce que l'eau a une possibilité pour faire des rampes vivants, soit des rampes de paille, pour empêcher que l'eau la déjà d'elle. So, les farmers explain about who he is uh, more resilient about the climate, um, because the end of the past, his garden used to wash by water, there, and then uh, there's a few techniques that he can use, especially for the erosion to not wash wash the, the land and then rain damage etc technique agroecologie vient par capacité pour combattre contre tout fléau érosion qui capable porter en nuit avec ferme the agroecology techniques help him to fight against all kind of, of disease and then all kind of rain damage all kind of erosion damage Là, on a parlé de augmentation de confiance qui vient de gagner quand ils plantent ça. Et c'est eux qui ont commenté, ils ont fait des bars entre eux pour leur dire comment hier nous pas capable de faire succès et je dis à partir des techniques agroécologiques, comment nous venons gagner possibilité pour nous renforcer la capacité de nous et pour nous, pour nous renforcer la capacité de production. Now, there's uh, the confidence of being increased. Uh because uh, now they have the capacity to work with the agroecology techniques needs uh, to reinforce their garden and to make more production 
um, this lady is talking about um, in the past, they, they used to laugh at her because of the techniques she's been using. And then at the end, when they see the result, they, they are all coming back, all the other farmer coming back and then ask her, please, can you teach me what you are doing in the past? Because we see a lot of good results in your garden. Là, on va parler de augmentation de capacité pour pour travailler, planifier en action en coopérative. Et bien après là, il y a des images que vous projetez pour montrer que comment la carte planification, comment vous planifiez pour saison et qui possibilités vous gagnez pour vous travailler ensemble en coopérative pour faire succès à travers technique agroécologique. So they learn about the techniques and then they have the capacity to work together and cooperative. And then as you can see, they have papers in hand. It's like a plan. And they already plan what type of techniques, uh, what what things that they will grow and which which trail plots. And uh, they have kind of a plan, plan and then uh, they work together and they collaborate. Okay. So thank you, St. Jess. I I, so for me, one of the biggest indicators of success of the, of the FAFSA project has been the ability of, of communities that we're working with to respond to crisis. Because farmers are able to grow more food, uh, they have improved organizing capacity and uh, have created all these links to uh, the different communities and villages where FAFSA is working. Uh, you know, they have been able to take the lead uh, in the last two or three years, actually, in this, in some of the crisis that the community that the Haiti has has faced, uh, starting with uh, COVID, uh, these farmers and our partner communities were some of the first on the ground uh, to begin distributing food relief, PPE supplies, um, also helping communities uh, set up and manage uh, hand washing stations. After the earthquake, uh, they uh, provided some 19 tons of food uh, for earthquake uh, uh, impacted communities. And more recently, they've been by providing food relief for families that have been displaced by the extreme violence that's going on in Port-au-Prince. Uh, that number 676 uh, uh, families uh, being helped by uh, displaced, uh, being, being helped uh, by farmers is actually up to about 800 now. Um, but I, you know, I, I would, I, I would ask you to think about just kind of the, uh, the impact this, this has, uh, on farmers, on children, you know, seeing their, their, their mother, their mom, their dad, uh, organizing and providing this relief in a country where, uh, uh, this kind of thing is not very common, right? Uh, when there's any type of crisis, natural disaster, uh, uh, most of the aid is coming coming from outside of I-80. Uh, one farmer uh, recipient uh, said that um, uh, of, of of the earthquake uh, earthquake food relief back in 2021. She said, "You know that this this makes me feel really good to know that uh, this food is coming from other Haitian farmers, and that in some way I am also helping them." Um, and, and, you know, and I think about, uh, the, you know, the psychological, again, the psychological impact of that to expand on that of, you know, uh, 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 communities, especially children, you know, instead of seeing a big aid food truck uh, coming down your, your street with uh, and dropping off bags of rice, uh, here you have um, uh, farmers uh, uh, who are from Haiti actually distributing that, that food. So there have been a number of development initiatives that have emerged, grown out of the Farmer to Farmer Agroecology for Food Sovereignty Initiative. One of those um, uh, development initiatives is farmers uh, about three years ago started working with local schools to help them design and start up farms uh, using agroecology techniques. Uh, these farms provide food. It's a way of helping sustain the schools uh, while also providing healthy, nutritious food for uh, hot meals that are served to children each day. 
So I'd like to ask John, are you, if you all are able, uh, would you like to talk a little bit about some of the economic impacts? There are new economic opportunities, both in Haiti and Uganda. We are preserving packaging and also selling cover crops. Uh, in Haiti, uh, they, are, they are packaging Moringa and uh, they have a test process the packaging of turmeric. Uh, training jobs, we also train young adults uh, to become soil keepers. And the soil keepers uh, test uh, the soil, the organic matter in the soil, and also biological activities in the soil in order to test the impact of uh, agroecology on the soil health. Uh, allow me explain uh, some key strategies we use. Uh, we make all the efforts to ensure every voices are brought on board, regardless of sex, age, and uh, ability and the status. Uh, this uh, we do by making the farmers take every step of the project from uh, needs prioritization to implementation, to monitoring and evaluation. And we keep improving this time and again to make the contributions and the participation very genuine, active, and also inclusive. So one of the, uh, I think, one, what we've found is to be one of the most important strategies is really building on indigenous based uh, local indigenous based knowledge. This project that the the original Combi Vayankapa Poje Agroecology uh, started with uh, through with a series of knowledge sharing sessions in Delon and surrounding communities where elders and other farmers who had knowledge of ancestral or um, indigenous based agri agroecology techniques, uh, you know, shared knowledge with, with other farmers. Um, and from there, we took farmers, bus, buses full of farmers to around different parts of Haiti to see uh, model agro agroecology systems. Uh, for example, taking farmers up to Guayavier to see a, 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 a model forest gap system and a model agro agroforestry system. Uh, we took farmers also to a uh, movement of peasant papai, uh, an organization that works in the central part of Haiti uh, that does a lot of great work around uh, sustainable development. So, so we really tried to start from from within within the community, uh, and and what we found is that um, uh, you know uh, the most successful strategies are those strategies that were either brought over from Africa uh, or uh, we're already on the island um, uh, and we're part of the Taino, the indigenous people of that island of Hispaniola, part of their, their traditions. Um, I remember one story just quickly on uh, our, one of our first knowledge sharing sessions. Uh, someone asked, well, uh, why, why do we always burn? I say, why do we burn? And so it's very, very common at the time in Delon, to, like like a lot of a lot of places in Haiti, to burn every season. And um, a younger farmer said, "Well, uh, uh, it's because it's all we've ever known. It's what we've always done." And an elder named Guillaume said, uh, uh, "Well, excuse me, but that that's not." Uh, the way uh, we've always done it that we have not we have always burned uh, but we've all but we've always burned very selectively and we've also burned in a way that uh, you know to protect the trees and 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 it wasn't something that used to be done every season uh, in the first day of, of, of uh, the, the training workshop or uh, the the participants uh, helped to uh, explore their community, the duties, the assets, and the struggles, and the vision in their community uh, in order to help them come up with their own vision of change. 
uh, giving uh, one the opportunity to to affirm the beauties, uh, the assets, and the, the struggles of a community is very critical in, uh, in, in understanding the immediate, the related, and the root causes of the struggle. This uh, really helps uh, the farmers to, 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 to be able to assess their power to, to create change in their community. Uh, later in the day, the, 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 the training, uh, the farmers are also helped to, to see how rebuilding of food sovereignty can help them uh, bring to visualization and realization the vision and the desire for the change they so desire in their community. Remembering our interconnectedness. Uh, we do remember that uh, life in all uh, cycle is very, very sacred and that uh, each life has a right to actually live and be here to contribute towards the ecosystem. Uh, the greatest thing we do in agroecology is to ensure that the, we strengthen the relationship between us and the earth and the environment. And we do this by, by making sure that uh, we, in agroecology, we make sure we are looking at the well being and the health of the life in the soil, like the FAFSI farmers call it uh, the people's soil, and also the life above the soil. If this is taken care of, then the rest can be done like you see in the pictures. Experiential and social learning. We are all FAFSI farmers emphasizes learning by doing. As you can see, farmers have taken soil sample and they are looking for soil people. And in the other side, farmers are constructing ramp, are preparing, are constructing ramp vivan and also coming up with their farm design and budget. At the end of each growing season, farmers assess the impact of agroecology, agroecology trials on their farm, on their individual farms. Farmers from different communities then gather to share what they have learned through knowledge sharing, sessions and to begin work on the Little theater is a technique for sharing knowledge about advantages and disadvantages of different agroecology techniques for those participating in agroecology workshop. Farmers trained as agroecology educator work together to develop skits to teach about different agroecology techniques. We, we also use role play as a way of measure knowledge gain about agroecology techniques. Viva. Madame Sanab Gadela, c'est un exemple vivant dans cadre de formation continue en agroecologie. So this lady that you're looking for is a uh, living example and uh, continuously the agroecology training. Avant, il n'est pas capable d'expliquer ni camper, parler, pour te dire quoi que ce soit. Before the agroecology project, she was really shy. She was not able to stand in front of people to talk, to say any type of thing. So actually, she has uh, the ability 
and then the capacity and the skills to stand in front of the crowd to explain any type of thing. Et ça qui puis étonnant à un moment donné de le présenter un ensemble de techniques agroécologiques dans une conférence que USAID a organisé à Bourges. It was really amazing that um, she was part of, of a USAID conference at Hotel Caribe, which is in Port-au-Prince. Uh, it was so excited because she was in in front of a lot of people and a, a lot of other NGOs, both local and U.S. NGOs. She's talking in, in front of all the people. Ça, c'est un gros acquis de technique agroécologie à travers la formation qu'elle y exploite. So this one is really good Ooh, that, that the agroecology pro project build that kind of capacity, the, that kind of transformation. Là, on a parlé de commentaires qui n'a fait avec la communauté. C'est sur ensemble de projets tant pour agroécologie et bien d'autres que nous gagnons pour nous entreprendre. C'est des discussions à entre, entre nous là. Um, now we are discussing about um, the sharing uh, locally and globally about the knowledge because um, um, in the agroecology project, actually, we connect with Uganda farmers, we, we connect with a few farmers, and then uh, in the project, uh, actually, we are in Altiboni, so we have Central Plateau, which is uh, another another community, and then we, co we connect for the good reason to realize really good success for agroecology. It's a perfect It's with participation, but the fact that you have all the ideas and all the ideas, and then we have a success. We So um, we are working for the success, and then the success is the team success because uh, all of them are sharing their ideas. All of them um, are working together in good collaboration. So well, the goal for the success is like, everyone's goal and then the success is for all the team. It's a good technique for us in every community to do an activity. It's always important to group the personages, the ancient to discuss with them, to give advice and to give advice. So that this is really good in every community that will work. So you have to make sure that you have a group of people, elders, as young people all together to um, have their high D, their, their talk. This is what we are, we are doing. Right. Hey, thanks, hey, Jess. And I would just add to that, that, uh, you know, this, this type of uh, sharing uh, between farmers in Uganda, farmers in Haiti, uh, between um, um, other groups in the US and, and other parts of the world is, is really important not only for building uh, agroecology uh, knowledge and innovation, um, but also for things like uh, helping develop value-added food products. North Dakota State University in the U.S., uh, Kalia Shetty and his uh, team have helped with uh, uh, developing the protocols, the, 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 the process schedules for uh, uh, processing and packaging Moringa, for example. Uh, which is happening in Daylon now. Um, but it's also uh, helps us to be able to generate the resources needed so that uh, farmers are able to act. You know, there's a lot of, uh, of um, uh, training that happens in Uganda, in Haiti, uh, but it's very short in duration. Uh, it's typically uh, driven by outside organizations uh, with outside uh, priorities, and um, and and once the, once the training is over, it's basically the, the participants are basically on their own. What we do by the with the two years, and also with some of this other type of collaboration, is really uh, enable farmers uh, to have the resources uh, needed to test uh, over uh, several cycles. Uh, agroecology as a way to really um, build their adoption and also help them help stimulate uh, innovation.